So the six trigonometric ratios: sine, cos, tan. And don't write like this. So write it here: cosec, sec, and cot. So these are actually the three, sorry, six trigonometric ratios. We just now discussed that sine is actually the inverse of cosec because sine is defined as opposite side by hypotenuse. This is defined as hypotenuse by opposite side. Cos is actually defined as adjacent side by hypotenuse, and this is defined as hypotenuse by adjacent side. And tan is actually defined as opposite side by adjacent side, and this is defined as adjacent side by opposite side. So things are clear. Now, when we are actually telling uh, children to remember these things, no, uh, there are some confusions coming. I told you yes will go to C and C will go to yes. So uh, it should not be from the same section. I told you it should not be from the same section. It should be from the other section. So sine is equal to sine is equal to one by cos. No, one by cosec. Now cos is equal to one by sec. Tan is equal to one by cot. So, so the C may confuse you, you know. So that is actually a better way. See, tan T cot T. This is the only one place where you can have a T. Our, all other places there is no T. So the T goes with the T, and C goes with the C, and S goes with the C. So this C you should not consider. So the S, this C is actually no need to consider. The tan T goes with the cot T, and sin is the inverse of cosec. And cos is the inverse of C. S E C S E C C. Clear? These are actually very important thing because uh, while doing the problem, this is actually required. So you need to know what is one by C. One by C is cos. What is one by cosec? It is sin. What is one by sin? It is cosec. So these are actually the inverse trigonometric ratios. These are the three basic fundamental trigonometric ratios, and these are the inverse trigonometric ratios. You know how it is defined and all. This is all. And one more thing we need to mention here that is the tan is defined as sine by cos. One more thing, let me tell you. See, there is no meaning of saying tan and sine and cos unless and otherwise it is attached with an angle. So now for the time, for the time being, we are actually discussing this one. For the sake of understanding only, we are writing sine and cos. Otherwise, if it is actually a meaningful sentence, then you need to say sine A, cos B, tan C, something like that. Angle should be attached to that one. Anyway, for the time being, tan is actually also defined as sine by <coughs> cos. Uh, so there, therefore, tan is like that. But we know tan is actually inverse of cot. So cot is equal to cos by sine. So these are very important things. Once again, three trigonometric ratios and its inverses, how it is defined, and uh, the two spatial uh, relations, tan and cos. Let's take a triangle here. Let's draw a triangle. Triangle A, B, C. This time I am actually going to consider this A. So this is called the opposite side and this is called the hypotenuse. It is not because of this angle, it is because of the 90 degree angle hypotenuse and this is called the adjacent side so the sides are labeled now let's see how these things are defined so sin a because here we are actually now it's becoming a meaningful sentence sin a cos a tan a sec a cosec a cot a now these things are now meaningful now what are these equal 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 Sine A. What is sine A here? Sine A means how it is defined. We know what do you remember? Sine A is equal to opposite side by opposite side by hypotenuse. So opposite side is BC, opposite side of A. See A here. So A here, opposite side here, BC by AC. Hypotenuse is not changed. So BC by AC. 
BC by AC. Now, how is the cos is defined? Cos is defined as the adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is AB divided by AC. AB divided by AC. So the tan is defined as tan A is defined as opposite side by adjacent side that is BC by AB. BC by AB. Right. Here, cosic. You know, actually cosic is defined as the hypotenuse by opposite side. And the sec is defined as hmm, hypotenuse by adjacent side. And cot is defined as adjacent side by opposite side. But no need to do that. Just flip it, no? BC by AC because we know sin A and cosic are called inverse. So BC by AC become AC by BC. Flipping. Here, cosic, sorry, cos and sec are actually inverse, right? So AB by AC. So this is going to be AC by AB. And tan A is BC by AB. So it becomes going to be AB by BC. So this way we can actually define the six trigonometric ratios. In addition to this one, you should know that sin A is equal to 1 by cos A, cos A is equal to 1 by sec A, tan A is equal to 1 by cot A, cos K is equal to 1 by sin A, sec A is equal to 1 by cos A, cot A is equal to 1 by tan A and tan A. So that, that's all. These are actually the... Ah, dear.